Good morning, YouTube fans. It's your boy Brad here with another video. Today, we're going to be looking at printing text with a 3 watt, about $100 laser printer that I purchased years ago to work with some stuff in my photography. When I do, I do these little boxes. Uh, these little wood boxes and I print the couple's name on it and the date and stuff, but it is a absolute Madness of trying to get this thing to print text now it does a wonderful job with just printing Images it comes with a bunch of images on a thumb drive When you buy one of these and you just pull the image into the program and you print it uh does a, does a fine job with that. It's easy. But if you're trying to print text, it is a maddening. I spent three hours sometime trying to get figure out what this thing wants me to do. Basically, it's the print program. So today I'll be showing how I found to the best way to work with the print program. So let me get set up here and I'll take you through the process. Okay, here we go guys. Got everything kind of set up here, drilled down onto my screen. I don't, do not know how to do that screencast thing and I'm not going to worry about it. But here's what I found. First thing, you got to make sure that you are connected to the laser printer. You got to have the laser printer plugged up and going in order for this program to work. Right here in the middle of my screen, it says laser engraving. This is a very elementary program but it's uh being well i'm gonna say low budget program uh and it's very temperamental so there is a process that you must use when you go through this program or it will totally mess up on you i'm going to get my instructions here to show you if you've dealt with this program how to get through it without hopefully it uh, error making an error and because once it errors you basically close it and you start over again but even this process I'm going to show you can be uh, you got to do maybe it a couple times and, and it might happen it might we might run into an issue while I'm doing this so first thing you got to do is right here at the top right if you see my cursor uh, attached to the the laser printer now we are we are attached go right here this input button over here it changes from input text to enter key so it is a double key so we click on the input text and we're going to go over here to our text box. And I'm just going to backspace because it always shows up with this ABC uh, to let you know this is the text box. And I'm going to type in my name. And I'm going to do a three-line text. So I'm going to show you kind of what happens. I'm going to hit call D, period. And first thing I'm going to do, let me go back. I'm going to put a couple spaces, and you'll know why I'm doing this later on. I'm going to put maybe one, two, three, because I want this centered above each other. Maybe three spaces. I'm going to hit enter. You don't see anything there. So I'm going to hit the next, uh, the last name, my last name. Uh, I should have put some spaces. I'm going to hit maybe five, six, two, three, four, five. Okay, it did something weird there, but I'm come down. I, I use my cursor to come over to the end of that, and I'm hit enter. This is the third line, which is today's date, which is I'm gonna say zero four March twenty twenty two. We got all that in there, right? We don't see what is really going on. Now we're gonna come back over to our enter key over here to our right, and we're gonna hit enter. There we go. Now we see the alignment of everything that's there. We see how it's all aligned. And I'm going to actually do something here. I'm, I'm going to move this to the center 
I'm gonna go over here to the bottom right here. This is a touch screen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have that move to the center of the screen. You don't have to do that. You can do it from the top left, but so that it's kind of in the center of our picture a little bit. And you heard the laser printer moved its laser to the center of the laser printer. But if you notice here, my text is not aligned uh, above each other. The Carl D needs to go over a little bit maybe to the right. So I'm going to come back over to the top right here and hit the input text. And I'm going to go back, get my cursor in here. I'm going to move back up to my Carl D and I'm going to hit maybe two spaces. One, two. Go back to the enter key. Remember this turns into an enter key. Click enter. Now it's aligned pretty good. Everything looks good, right? Now, we want to, I want to change the font and the size of this. Okay, so now I got to hit the enter key again. You have to be in the program. You don't want to come up here and hit the font key and try to change it now. Hit the enter key over here again. I'm going to just use the touch screen. I'm back in. Go up here to the A. You see my cursor at the top. This is your type face. Your... Come on. There we go. And... I do want to make this, I'm going to make it a Gordian script, a Gordian script, this right here is what I want it to be. I click on that, I have it in a Gordian script. Now over here to the right, it's all in Chinese, but these are just, uh, gosh, what should I call them, types. This one is the standard, if I click here. You see it goes bold if you notice the letters right there at the top and you have like italic bold and some other stuff is what that really is but I'm gonna go right back to the top one and then I'm gonna change the size of the print now for what I'm printing on it needs to be around 28 uh, and I'm just moving that little slider and you see the number over here changing and I'm gonna go to 28 Okay, now I have it sized at the size I want it. Go back up here and hit the A key again. Turn that off. Now, everything still looks jumbled. Come back over to your right, the Enter key. Hit your Enter key again. Now we see everything. And, okay, here's where it's probably going to mess up. It's not a line. The Bradley is still too far over to the left. So I'm going to hit the enter key and attempt to move it. It might work. It might not. So I'm going to hit the enter key. Come down here to Bradley. And I want to space it. Maybe two spaces. I'm going to hit the enter key again. And that looks pretty good. That's perfect. Now, at the bottom right of your screen here, it has the width and the height of your print. It's in millimeters. Now, if you want to do that in inches, you come up here to your top. You see right here, it says millimeter inches. I can, I use my finger. Now, now I use the cursor. I don't want to mess it up. And I change this now. It's in inches so it's 1.96 inches wide it's almost two inches wide and the height is 1.062 inches so right about an inch tall so that is the size of what I'm going to print now you got it all there here's a good time to save your work you go up here to the little disk uh, here and click save. You can't tell it what you want it to save as. You can't give it a name. It's going to do its own thing. And it's basically going to put it where it wants to put it. So it says save 
uh, success. It wants to put it on my desktop and it's giving it this uh, BMP uh, bitmap. I guess that's what that stands for. Number. And you click OK. Now you have saved this and you can use it later on. You just bring it in. Uh, you can drag it on to or you can import it up here with the import picture thing But I wanted to show you guys this video because like I say I have totally Struggled with this program and there's not a video that I have seen online Talking about just typing your own text and burning your own text now Here's another thing about this three watt. It's the only three watts 3,000 milliwatt uh, K boom cheap under right about a hundred bucks laser printer that only prints in a small area uh, like I said this is probably three years old now uh, is that it five watts would be a whole much whole lot better if you can get more wattage I would definitely uh, encourage you to get something with more wattage but if you just want something to play with uh, when printing on uh, when cutting in the wood it doesn't really cut that well and I have to max out. I'm gonna show you here the settings over here, on your right here, uh, depth to cut into wood, and it's not really gonna cut. It's just gonna burn in a little bit. Got to be max. Your power needs to be max. Uh, basically, you can max out your um, contrast here, and also the discrete printing. See, I changed that, and so it went to its own setting. Uh, discrete engraving I'm sorry basically I haven't seen a difference between these two the black and white and discrete engraving when you're uh, printing in wood or trying to cut into wood does not make a difference but you definitely uh, want to max this out when you're doing wood now you're doing some other stuff like you're just cardboard or or I don't know plastics whatever you're doing uh, you need to do a test you know on a piece of scrap or whatever to get the uh, see what power levels you really want to use if you're doing a, a test on a piece of cardboard you don't need to set these up to these max settings you know before you print on wood you say hey I want to do a test print first don't max these out you can set it let it uh, be at its nominal setting like where that is right now to do your test print but hey guys I want to show you that hey if you like my channel Please like uh, and please subscribe. You guys have a blessed day.